What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. So, in this video, we're definitely going to be going all the way to uh, Rivet City and potentially doing some side quests there as well as the main storyline. Depends on how fast and how long it all takes to complete, but in a nutshell, the bare minimum is that we will be going to Rivet City and potentially doing some quests there. So with that being said, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video if you're excited to watch this one. And also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does make a difference here on the channel. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, let's go ahead and continue going. Because that lady definitely doesn't have anything going on with her. At least nothing that I'm interested in, of course. I have to try to figure out how to get to Rivet City, though. I know it's this way because my my little compass on the bottom left is telling me so. But, uh... God, this game is gorgeous, dude. Like, oh my god. It's crazy how old this game is. I think it came out in, what, 2008 or 2011? Something like that? Came out a while ago, man. That's all I remember. And as old as this game is, it's still... I mean, wow, look at this. Oh, look, it's from uh, Operation, uh, Operation Anchorage DLC. I totally forgot about that statue. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's from the Operation Anchorage DLC where you assist the soldiers and stuff, and then you get them to take a picture for morale or something. The general or something. I can't remember the specifics, man. It's been many, many years since I've played any of the DLCs. Like, I've played the regular game like this, for example, um, a lot sooner than I have the DLCs. Same thing goes with New Vegas, man. I haven't played the DLCs in so long, man. It's going to be super hard to remember. Oh, God. Who? Is there somebody here? Uh, definitely sounds like a raider. Let's go all the way down and try to shoot them. Oh, there they are. I'm not going to be able to shoot them from here. Oh, that asshole threw a grenade at me. Oh, that guy is done skis, homie. Oh! Man, I love being a laser weapons person. Is that everybody though? Is, is everybody dead? <coughs> Excuse me. No. Oh shit. Got him. Hey. Oh, you picked something up. Take some of these. Oh no. Um I think he's all right. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. I just literally, um, woke up and took a shower and then came straight to record. Probably wasn't the greatest idea because now I'm, like, coughing up a storm. So, forgive me for that in advance. Can I sleep here? Yes, I can. Alrighty. Where am I going, though? Oh, wait, that's a citadel, isn't it? It is. That's definitely the citadel. We're definitely not going there yet. Oh, and then there goes that, uh, that water place. Forgot what it's called. Yeah, this game is beautiful, dude. I don't care what anybody says. As old as this game is, it's still kind of breathtaking. Uh, like how torn down and messed up everything is. You know what I mean? I am playing this on PC, so of course I'm getting like the maximum resolution and frame rates that you possibly can on this. 
uh, game, but even with that taken into consideration, dude, that's still, like, really good, you know? Oh, look, stupid mutants. They found me. Oh, fuck. Um, maybe I should take a stim pack. All right, let's see. Stim pack. Luckily, I have a few. Ah! Holy shit, dude. So, uh, I think we died. Luckily, we, we literally slept right here. We should probably take our sleep one more time so we at least uh, auto save with full health this time. Or at least we know what to expect now. We, we're uh, expecting some super mutants, one of them with a the rocket launcher. Tracking. Too easy. Dude, I'm running low on ammo. No. Don't do this to me. Uh... Alright, well, I got a shitload of this weapon, so let's go ahead and uh, do some sniping, I guess. Freaking rocket launcher, dude, that, that guy literally blew me up. I haven't even made it to Rivet City yet, and I'm literally already dying. Oh, look, and then you got some, uh, some of those abominations over there. Can I shoot him from here? Probably not. That's the problem with playing with a controller, dude. Aiming is such a bitch, dude. It It's kind of hard to aim on a controller. Maybe it's just me because I'm not used to it. I play on... Well, I mean, this is on PC. I'm playing on PC right now, but I'm using a controller. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm not used to it, but we'll see. Oh, he doesn't have a... A rocket launcher this time. Oh my god, would you hit him? What the fuck just happened? Oh, that's why I died. They blew up the cars before. Alright, let's take care of one guy first. That guy's gonna be a bitch. I mean, luckily, he's those things are not very accurate. Well, maybe they're a little accurate. All right, screw it. I'm running. Run! <laughs> uh, might as well snipe while I get the chance, right? Run away! Alright, let me uh, put my uh, laser rifle back on. Or my laser pistol. I want a laser rifle. There's enemies around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure they're going to be super mutants again. They are. Fuck. Run! Oh god, is this a dead end? It is. Oh my god, run away. I'm not trying to die here, alright? Alright, we're... We're actually, we're here, I think. Because that's where Project Paradise, or not Project Paradise, a uh, Project Paradise? Well, maybe. I don't know. The Purified Water Place. That's where you go. All 
I mean, at least we lost all the super mutants. That's probably the most important thing here to take note and to consider because those super mutants were pretty brutal, man. Alrighty. Oh yeah, there's a little super mutant camp right here. Alright, we're actually going to do this real quick. We are going to... Hopefully... Let me save it. Whoops. Let me save it and then... um, Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die right here. Let me verify that I saved it. Yes. Oh god. Alright, time to switch weapons because I'm definitely gonna lose, uh... Fragmine. Why not? Shoot, damn it! Alright, we'll do that. Uh, put on, uh, the com- Actually, we'll put on the assault right- Wow, oh, I got no ammo for this. Well, actually, you know what? And while we're at it, we'll definitely use another freaking stim pack. I'll just literally use up all that ammo. I don't even care right now. And then probably switch up. 87, 21, we'll use up all of this too. Goodbye. Oh god. Run! Stim pack? I should probably hotkey the stim pack, huh? Oh, oh dear lord, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Run away! Oh god, oh god. Oh ho 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 ho! I did it! In the most suicidal way possible. Oh god, there's another one. We'll come back for you, alright? But I got an idea. Alright, we'll take that. Um, alright, screw it. Maybe I should save it again, just in case. Oh no, okay, good. Let's go. No, up, 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 right there. There we go. Alrighty. I don't want the minigun, but I think I could give the girl up there a weapon, so I'm gonna give her a minigun. Also, I need to I need to take a nap. Don't worry, don't worry, what do you think I'm doing? I'm literally here to help you. Don't mind if I do. No, I don't I I can't lockpick that missiles. Well, I mean, I, they don't really weigh anything, so. Search Raider. Yes, I'll take both of those. I'll take that. I've already looted him. Uh, super Mutants have uh, bound the captive for transportation. The ropes are digging into her wrist. She obviously suffered from their abuse. Leave the captive to her fate. Untie her. Well, that's obvious. Here. What? Who? You mean? Are you for real? Nope. I'm an I'm alien. Safe? I I need to get out of here. Here, take these supplies. It's all I have, but they'll only slow me down. Uh, you'll probably need it more than I will. Okay, if you say so. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Wait! Come back here. I want to give you a mini gun. Well, all right. Goodbye. There's no explosives here, is there? Oh God! Thank you. Yes. Uh, definitely yes. 
Um, easy. Okay, let's check out this box. And this one. Whoops. Let's take one more nap. Just so it saves with our full health. What the hell? Sounds good to me. And we should, in theory, be close to, uh... I almost said Megaton. We should, in theory, be close to, um... Uh, Rivet City, too. I hope, at least. <clears throat> it's freaking dark and gloomy. That image right there always creeped me out right there. That statue, I don't know why. Oh, we got a caravaner over here too, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Maybe we can sell some shit. Is it this guy? Ah, fellow student on the path to the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The if you say so. The safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome, all of which can be yours. For the right price. 1999 plus tax to shipping and handling? Uh, tell me about your trade caravan. See, the world's a dangerous and unbalanced place. So I realized the only way to bring peace was to make sure that everyone could be dangerous. So, with a little bit of help from the mayor of Canterbury Commons, I set up this caravan. I can't give the weapons away for free, but I come close. Uh, can you repair something for I'll me? I'll see if I can't take a whack at it. My laser pistol. Absolutely. My power helmet. Um, this all cops cost caps too, so I need to be careful. My armored vault 101 suit. I think that's gonna be it, man. All right, I'm here to buy. Please enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. Problem solvers, you say? No fusion cells? Nope, no fusion cells. Thank you for your time. Bye. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled. All right. Is this a guard? Hey there. Hey, Sunny. I mean, caravan guard. You sure have a sunny smile. Alright, let's go up here. I think there's like a homeless guy up here too, man. If I remember. Yep, there he is. Hey, please, Carlos. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. Um, will any water do? I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. I don't have purified water, man. Please, if you find some, please. I feel bad for this guy. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Will do. And there goes the man himself, Harkness. Look at this place, dude. Am I tripping or is this just a gigantic square? I think this is just a gigantic square. Alright, let's go. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Uh, I'm looking for Dr. Lee, who in turn knows where my father is. Now, I'm looking for my father. And who might your father be? If John, he John Travolta. Boat, I know. He doesn't live here. He came here to see Dr. Lee. There we go. Dr. Lee, eh? Well, then I guess you'd have to ask Dr. Lee for more information. Go on up then. She's probably in the science lab. But keep your nose clean. You hear me? Um, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'm kind of lost. Can you help me? I suppose. Where's Dr. Lee's lab? I already know. The door on the left goes to the stairwell. From there, just keep heading west. 
I thought he was just gonna say in the science lab. I was about to say, oh shit, okay. Well, that was very helpful actually. Uh, I heard you uh, you're on some sort of city council. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Uh, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Uh, why did you decide... Why did, why did all you decide to live on this rusty old tub? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Uh, thanks for the help. Carry on, then. Harkness is a badass. Hey there. Alright, he said the door to the left? And then keep going west, I think he said? Who's this little girl? Hello, mister. Hi. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Good for you. You're good, good for you. Um, common room. Science lab is through there, actually. Alright, let's go. God bless you. Um, Diego. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. Who is St. Monica? St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. Convenient. Um, I'm not making a don <laughs> donation. Uh, there's a church in River City? Oh, yes. Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. Father Clifford? Is he, uh, like, big and red? And barks from occasion to occasion? Um, if you're the acolyte, who's the priest? Father Clifford, the sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. All right. Goodbye, Diego. God bless you. Uh, Angela Staley. Yes, sir. Uh, so what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. Uh, what's it like being or uh, living on this giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But you're safe. But we're safe here. Oh, I no said that. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Uh, do the men on this ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Oh, they love each other. Well, she loves him. So you and Diego are in love? I bet you it's one-sided. Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. That's sad, man. Honestly, I never knew that these guys liked the... Well, she liked him. I never I never gave them the time of day. I just always like ran past them. Uh, unfortunately, you can't force a man's attention. That's true. This is the wrong answer, just so you guys know. It's only good for one thing, and that's not a... It's not a way to a man's heart. Uh, men are such pigs, forget them. That's also completely wrong. But this is absolutely true. You Unfortunately, you can't force a man's attention. Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. Good for you. Hopefully it works out. But you also got to keep in mind, if he refuses to pay attention to you in that sort of way, don't get hung up and move on because there are other choices out there. See you later, Angela. Bye. Keep your head up. Men do like persistence too. Alright, let's go. Um... Science lab this way. Science lab over here to the left. This place is huge. Is this the science lab? You tell me where the science lab is. Oh, it's Abraham Washington. I forgot about him. Impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name curator of this little slice of American history. 
Uh, yes, it's an interesting collection indeed. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. And what is that? Uh... <laughs> okay, all right, I'll bite. Which document is missing? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. <laughs> That's wrong. The day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Well, that's partially right, but the important parts was completely wrong. But anyways, uh, if you want me to retrieve the Declaration, all you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the Society's collection here. Uh, I'd love to be part of... Uh, history and bring you the declaration excellent you won't regret it i promise you imagine you are taking part in another chapter of american history i envy you you can find the declaration of independence in the ruins of the national archives <laughs> well i've looked uh i've looked around a bit I'm not sure what this means, because I don't think I've been to the National Archives. Um, I have a few questions about the Declaration of Independence. Can you show me how to get to the National Ar Ar Archives on the map? In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here. Let me pinpoint its location for you. Thank you. Yes, he had uh, edited the map marker, so I know I haven't been there before. So I have a few questions about the Declaration of Independence. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. This should be interesting. Uh, I don't think I'll pass this, but I'll try it anyways. All this info on the Declaration, where do you get it? I don't like secrets. Certain information came to light. I paid a fortune in caps to obtain it. There really isn't much more to it. Liar. Uh, what does the Declaration of Independence look like? A piece of what was called parchment. Sort of a thick paper. Has faded handwritten writing all over it. It's no more than two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. Well, that's a pretty big piece of parchment. Uh, what's uh, the history behind the document? On July the 4th in 1776, a group calling themselves the Second Judgmental Congress got together at Fort McCary in Maryland. After a ceremony which ended with Paul Revere singing the famous battle hymn known as the National Anthem, <laughs> the document was signed. From there, it was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. Thus began the Evolutionary War. The Evolutionary War? First of all, Paul Revere was the one that said the British were coming. Uh, that warned the uh, rebels and everything that the British were coming. Allowing them to arm themselves and stuff like that. But anyways, um, let me ask you something. Certainly. Uh, I've looked... I'm skeptical. Okay, I'm going to click on this anyways. Well, I've looked around a bit. Have you come to any conclusions? It's an interesting collection of garbage now. Uh... Ah. Alright. Looks like we've already exhausted everything. So let's go ahead and go through this. So that we can get out of this conversation. All right. Goodbye. Remember, treat the document with care. It's a fragile piece of our history. Realistically, it'll probably break already. You know what I mean? Uh, well, this guy's definitely the uh, 
American type. But now we know that it's not here, so we gotta go upstairs. Oh god, get out of the way. And I think this is the science lab. Are you flirting with me? I'm on duty. Make it quick. Um, I'd like to report someone. I heard that Rivet City is run by some sort of council. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. A military type. It's calling the shots, you say. It's not a very good idea. And this is from a, federal, uh, from a veteran. Uh, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. All right, let's go. Later. Dr. Lee, Dr. Lee. Oh, this is a science lab. That's Dr. Lee. Hold on. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating, but if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please... <laughs> Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Damn. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Wait, hold on. Before you, you leave. There. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Uh, that depends. What exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive... Property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. <laughs> well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids. Programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally they get confused and wander off. Uh, sounds like slavery to me. Uh, you sure, you sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense. This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I, um... I've actually never done this quest. Uh... I'll be compensated for my services, right? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think. You'll be the envy of all your friends. Uh, sure. I'll look into finding your android for you. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. 
I want to listen to this. Uh, so note added. Wait. Okay. The replicated man. I've heard of this quest before, and I know the outcome to it. I've personally never done this quest. I've never even activated this quest, to be honest. Uh, I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What's the android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Interesting. Uh, so any suggestions on finding this out, Android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for Android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. Garvey? He's on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. <laughs> uh, if this android wandered off, why would he want a new-minded face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him, I want him. End of story. This is a tricky situation because it honestly sounds like this android is sentient uh, due to the fact that he can actually make his own decisions. And in more, more so than just a computing, you know, nature. Does that make sense? I don't know. Why would an android feel guilt exactly? Come on, Mr. Zimmer. What aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Thank you. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? So, I don't think these guys are human. But I don't think they're not alive either. This is a very interesting topic and concept. Uh, okay. So if others escaped, why are you coming after this one specifically? By the way, he's a cor he should be a courser um, if his job is to go and hunt down other escape sins. This particular android, designation A321, is different, special, the most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. Why? So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. Why is he irreplaceable? That's what I want to know. So tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Okay, I have to go now. Doodles. Of course you do. So he said that this guy is a synth. Enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Shut the hell up, synth. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey there. All right. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Anna Holt. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? Uh, sure. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Well, you got a point there. Uh, Dr. Lee, uh, as smart as... Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. <laughs> uh, that's like a jab at everybody that lives here. Uh, can I get a drink around here? Preferably somewhere clean? The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Ooh. All right, time to go. Toodles. Later. All right, Dr. Lee, come here. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. Wait a minute. You look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? How do you know that? What are you doing here? Wait. How do you know who I am? Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. So you're telling me I was born on Rivet City? I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Uh, this isn't about me. It's about my father. Now, where is he? Actually, I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. <laughs> well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Uh, I'm sorry. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. Purity, there you go. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, where's this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. So, uh, I mean, uh, northeast Jefferson Place, but I want to see. Can you remind me where my father went? The last I knew, he was headed back to the lab at Project Purity in the old Jefferson Memorial Building. I still say it's dangerous, and he shouldn't have risked it. That's all I know. So what you're telling me is that I need to buy a lot of fusion cells before we head out to Jeff Jefferson Memorial. Tracking. Uh, can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? What was my father like back then? I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Oh, that's sad, bro. Fuck. Uh, why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. You weren't prepared? My mother is... No, nah, it's not her fault, man. It's nobody's fault. Shit just happens, dude. Especially in the wasteland. I'm sure they did their best to save her, you know? Whatever. Uh, that's fucked up. I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Exactly. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. That was, uh, kind of weird how she sounded almost excited that I agreed with her. Did she kill my mom? Ah, oh, hell nah. No, you didn't. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what was, uh, what was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work. And your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. 
I know he wanted to keep you safe, but I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Um, kind of sounds like she's jealous. Okay. Can you tell me more about my parents? What do you want to know? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Um, probably gonna fail this, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Uh, come on. Isn't there anything you can do to help? I suppose oh, shit. There are a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. That was a surprise. And five stim packs? Dr. Lee, I love you. I'd like to know a bit more about you. Yes, I do. Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I... We worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were... Complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. So tell me about this project you were working on with my father. That sounds very intriguing to me. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Everything. Uh, what was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. So why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Damn. It doesn't sound easy to do. If that was the case, I'm sure we would find a way to purify ocean waters and get free water to all of humanity. But then again... Humans are pretty selfish, so that's also possibly never going to happen. Uh, why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. It Thank you. just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. So she used to work for the Brotherhood? Okay. That's interesting. Uh, what is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Zimmer? man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? <laughs> I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Okay. Uh, what, what kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. I like that, philo that whole uh, view on life. Uh, I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Thank you, Dr. Lee. You've been a great, great help. Look at all this food. Can I take all this? Nope. I can take the mug, but none of the food. How? And the medical clipboard. What is that? Why does that even make sense? All right. Um. This place is pretty huge, man. I'm not even going to lie. All right, where are we going anyways? Wait. Who went up there and who went down here? Okay, so Anna came down here. Anna, why'd you open your legs like that? Janice Kaplinski, who are you? Hey there. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? Uh, I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. What? She's already in a bad mood. I hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. I already did. Uh, what do you know about this Zimmer? Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass, nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He 
He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. All right, farewell. So long. I'm actually very curious about this whole replicated man quest line too. In all honesty, I've never actually done it, so I'm probably going to do that quest. Um, put on quests. Uh, look for dad in Project Purities. I called it Project Paradise before. I don't know why I said that, but it's definitely Project Purity. All right, so, all right, let's go. Replicated man. Uh. Optional discover what dr. Preston knows about the Android. I need to figure out where dr. Preston is first of all and then search for clues about Zimmer's missing Android and I don't even know where to begin. I guess I could start with dr. Preston, but uh, Preservation Society Marketplace Let's check out the marketplace How do I get there? Let's see. Uh, marketplace this way. Shut up. <laughs> What's in here? Looks like an old crappy little room. Yes. Oh, hello. Why does she sound so seductive? Oh, I think I found the church. St. Monica's, uh, Monica's Church. Yep. Marketplace. What? How come I can't go in there? That's some BS. Alright, well, I guess let's go back over here. Is this Abraham Washington again? It is. What's up, broski? So we got a few quests here, actually. Yes. Hold on. Maybe there's another way to go. The fuck is going on in here? Wait, what room is this, first of all? Common room? Uh, May Wong, James Hargrave, Tammy Hargrave, Mr. Lopez, Ted Strayer. There's a lot of people that live in here. Um, broken terminal. I don't want to read the terminal right now. Hey there. So this way leads to the marketplace too. Wanna Have I been? Maybe a little psycho. No. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, yeah, I can finally go to the marketplace. Um. Where is? The marketplace this way. What? That just took me out. Oh, it's probably because it's through this door. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any of it. I know why. It's because it's dark. Let's go till about nine. Idea. There we go. Now we can go inside. All right. Let's see if we can find some fusion cells in here. Flack. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Okay. Uh, aren't you afraid someone will use your own guns uh, to rob you? That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Here, in Rivet City, I'm packing. And most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. An armed society is a polite society. Uh, is there anywhere I can get a drink in this tub? Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions down on the lower deck. Can I see what kind of guns you have for sale? Uh, yeah, can I see what kind of guns you have for need sale? to do some killing, eh? Eh, kind of. More like I just need to restock on some fusion cells. If you even have any. Or energy cells. Dude, he's got a lot. And I don't have that much money. So let's go ahead and sell... All of that. All of that. Screw it, all of this. All of that. Let's go back over here, get all the energy cells. Alright, how much... Dude, I'm... I need a lot. 
You can have this assault rifle. Um, you can take the buff out. You can take the darts. I'm not going to have enough, aren't I? Oh, I'm definitely not selling that. Metal helmet. You can have the metal helmet, I suppose. Mini nukes. You can definitely have all of these. Yay! You can have all the missiles, too, actually. Um... Honestly, I think that's it. Yeah, let's go ahead. A pleasure doing. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. How so, are you, today? you just scared me, kid. All right, uh, so I should have a shitload of ammo now. Look at all this ammo, dude. Woo wee! Love it. Hi. Hey, this is the guy upstairs, kid. Where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? God damn. All right, sorry. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Yes, Har uh, Welcome Harkins, to Harkness. I've got a little bit of everything here. Uh, sounds like just junk, and this is probably just food. Hey. Cams. Oh, it's Mei Wong. Armor. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, I see you're also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Uh, so you're on the city council, I hear. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Whoever this Seagrave is, uh, you think he's a threat to your influence? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Ooh. Probably a miscellaneous quest. Uh, so you're on city council? Dr. Leach. Okay, yeah, I already did that. Uh, I hear... I heard Angela Staley has a church on... A crush on Diego. Disgusting, isn't it? What? Someone should talk to that boy. He has no business hanging around that tramp if he's going to be a priest. That's fucked up, dude. Oh. Uh, why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Maybe. Uh, I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point. I like that. See what he has for sale. Dirty Chinese jumpsuit. Leather armor. Merc adventure. Uh, red racer jumpsuit? That sounds pretty cool. Sexy sleepwear. Wow, wow. Um, I do have 242 caps. But I don't think I want anything. He doesn't have anything. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Brandon. Come back soon. Is there any other shops? Looks like there's a shop right here, but no one's taking it. A quick fix. Alrighty. Uh, Gary. Tammy, that's, uh, that's gotta be his bomb. Morning. Angela Staley. Oh, this is, uh... Hi, I'm Angela. My dad runs Gary's Galley. Another of the city council, eat? right? Talk to him. Uh, I guess not. Oh, no, this is the girl that's in love with that one guy. All right, let's go. Suit yourself. Well, I mean, I think that's going to do it for today. We did a lot of exploring, especially around uh, Rivet City. The thing is, we can't really go on much longer because we're pretty much already at the one hour mark. So we're definitely going to have to continue on in the next video. In the next video, though, my priority is definitely going to be the Replicated Man. I really want to see that quest through. I've never done it before, and I'm very interested in it. So we're definitely going to do that first. But 
If you're interested or excited for that video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.